uh, from that uh, capital of Telangana and Andhra at this point in time. The stock on our radar at the moment is NCC. Uh, uh, Mr. Vaidi Murthy joins us. Uh, the specific news is it has just announced that it will be selling off uh, two projects. Mr. Vaidi Murthy, the executive uh, 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 VP Finance, is joining us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Murthy, uh, can you just detail to us? Uh, uh, any of these fundraising uh, uh, options that you are looking at? Uh, uh, are you very close to raising money through sale of any assets? Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> we are looking at uh, fundraising uh, by monetizing our assets. One is the power project where Pemkob has already signed the definitive agreements. We are expecting the approval by the government agency in the next two months. And the most probably the money will be received. And likewise, we are looking at uh, two road projects for monetization. They are also looking good. And uh, all these uh, three monetization efforts are likely to bear fruit before the end of the current financial year. Can you just so give us some more details on the receive? power project? Yeah. Uh, sure. uh, we didn't have that detail. Power project, how much is it? And which uh, yeah, one? See, on a net basis, <coughs> once the deal is uh, consummated and we transfer the shares to SEMCOB, and uh, they give us the money and uh, adjust the additional mobilization advance they have given to us. Uh, it will be something like 210 crores or so. Okay. Uh, and likewise, the two road projects uh, monetization, if it happens, could give us another 200 to 220 crores. So on a uh, consolidated basis, about 430 to 440 crores of uh, additional money is likely to be received by the company. Okay, so 430 crores will be received before the end of FY16. What will that do to your total debt? How much will you be able to bring it down by? Uh, initially, we will bring down the debt, but what is more important is uh, we need the working capital for uh, taking care of the top-line growth. Mm. Uh, so our game plan is to see that these monies are available for uh, getting higher uh, top-line without resorting to debt financing. Okay. So actually your finance cost in the last reported quarter was 131 crore. What do we see it dipping to in the second half? Uh, yeah, absolutely. In fact, the 131 crore... Uh, Mr. Murthy, you can hear us? Uh, resulted in a saving of about 40 crores mm. compared to the first half of the previous year. Mm. And likewise, another 40 crore saving in the second half of the current year also we are uh, contemplating. Okay, okay, so 40 crores will be the interest savings in the first half and uh, 40 crores in the second half of the of FY17. That's what you said, right? No. Yeah. Oh. Current year, no? Current year as well you save? Mr. Murthy, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, tell me. Okay, so 40 yes. crores interest savings will be in which, uh, in the second half of the of FY16? Yes, absolutely. In the second half also, minimum 40 crores saving will be there. Okay. And uh, that will add to our bottom line quite nicely okay. uh, for the current financial year. And apart from these assets, this power project and these two road assets, any other assets that you're looking to monetize? Uh, we are looking at uh, some real estate uh, payments to be made by our subsidiary, NCC Urban who has taken loans from the parent company. Current year, they promised to pay us about 100 crores, out of which about 71 crores is already received. The balance, 29 crores, will also come during the course of the year. Uh, that, that is the game plan. Okay. Uh, how will uh, How is the order book looking? Uh, there is a lot of hope in the country that Telangana and Andhra are these states which will spend more, uh, Andhra in particular, for uh, uh, building of the capital. Have you noticed, uh, you know, a larger number of bids coming out of that government, uh, those two governments? Should we expect a boost in your uh, uh, order book? Are you L1 in any of them? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, the government of Telangana, they came out with their drinking water supply project uh, where we are nicely positioned and we already bagged orders of about 2,300 crores okay. uh, from the government of Telangana in our water division and some more uh, orders are also expected. As far as AP is concerned, they are yet to call for tenders. Uh, they have, I think, they finalized the master developer. One Singapore company has been identified as the master developer. Mm -hmm. We have got uh, strong execution capabilities in the building segment. We are definitely looking at opportunities to participate in the construction of the new capital city. 
Okay. So, what is the total order book as on November 2015 and what is the order visibility for the next uh, 6 to 12 months? Uh, yeah, uh, we already bagged about 4,300 crores of fresh orders of October and uh, the order book at the end of October was about 19,500 crores. Okay. November also we received some orders, some 5,600 crores of orders are in the pipeline. And for the year as a whole, current year, we are targeting 8,000 8, crores of fresh orders and we are on target to achieve that. How will the income from operations look like for the full year? Uh, would you be more than last year? If yes, how much more? Yeah, there is a strain on the top line that we already disclosed to the uh, uh, investors and the analysts also because mm. uh, last year the contribution from the power uh, EPC was very substantial, okay. whereas this year is going to be much less. So there, there may not be any top line growth as far as current year is concerned. On the contrary, there could be a dip of 5 to 6 percent in the top line. But nevertheless, the bottom line will improve. So okay. uh, you were telling us that you know you will be using this money, 430 crores for your working, a large part of it for working capital requirements. Uh, will this be sufficient for your working capital needs, or will you need some more urgent funds? Uh, no, this will be sufficient on a, a rule of thumb basis. For every 1,000 crores of uh, top line growth, I need working capital of about 200 to 250 crores. So this will be sufficient, and part of it can be used for debt reduction. Okay, you spoke about bottom line being much better even if the top line were a little subdued. How much better? Because your second quarter performance was extraordinary on the bottom line. Uh, on an year-on-year -year basis as well, your FY15 number was what, 112 crore compared to 40 crore in the year before. How much better does it get in FY16? Yeah, uh, in the first six months of the current year, we already reported a net profit of 96 crores. Yes. And we are confident we will be able to uh, declare a net profit of at least 180 crores current year as compared to 111 crores last year. All right, Mr. Murthy, that's a very good note on which to end this conversation. Uh, that's a 70% rise in uh, bottom line that they are expecting. Uh, actually, one of the definitely one of the better managed uh, uh, yes. construction companies, one of those rare ones uh, that has uh, very very manageable debt. In fact, uh, this stock, you know, if we if we just look at how the stock has performed this year, it's it's down about uh, three and a half four percent. But I remember in the early part of the year, there were a lot of influential buyers into the stock as well, and the stock had given you some decent returns. Thank you.